Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into mastering and understanding the SMG role in Modern Warfare 3. Ranked Edition. So, let's break down the fundamentals, starting with the pros and cons of this crucial role. Now, SMG players, you've got some great advantages. You're faster than most, especially AR players. Your animations are quicker, you know. Uh, you've you've got very very good time to kill TTK at close quarter combat QCQ but there are cons as well your damage range falls off compared to ARs of course but what does that even mean it means the further the enemy is the less damage your bullets do now the key to excelling at SMG player uh, at an SMG role is playing to these strengths right since QCQ is vital for SMG players, your goal is to create scenarios where close quarter combat happens. This means moving around to find the best angles for close quarter combat, which often includes flanking the enemies, taking them off, catching them off guard, right? Playing ratty if you have to. Playing to your advantages how you need to, right? As an SMG player, you want to basically just play games with the enemy. Make them worry about every corner. Make them think about every odd angle that you might be sitting in, right? You want to just get inside their head. Make them think, oh, he might be there. Make them think, oh, he's waiting there for sure, right? This slows down the enemy and it forces them to be more cautious. And that's advantages for your team. Remember, with your speed, get a kill and move, right? Especially now since red dots are back, always try to stay on the move uh, as an SMG player for sure. Now. Let's talk about the engagement range. As an SMG player, your sweet spot is probably between where this dumpster is right here. 19 meters, I would say. Yeah, maybe even less. Let's just say 15, call it even, right? Right here. That's your that's your sweet spot, right about here. Just how far a dumpster that is. 15, 16 meters, right? Now, this is where your powers are at peak. Like, beyond this range, you will definitely feel the damage drop off like if you're fighting someone let's say over here from here that's what 26 meters right you can definitely still get the kill but it's not to your advantage right you'll feel the damage drop off and trust me it's definitely not fun now and i'm not saying you can't win those longer range fights you definitely can but it's much more advantages just for you to play to your strengths right play the close corners Play the play the play the little ratty spots that you wanna, you know. You know this this definitely means flanking the enemy rather than going up for a straight up fight, right? Within you within that 15 meter range, you are a force to be reckoned with. But as you move beyond it, consider how you can close this distance, right? For example, let's say the guy who's over there. Obviously, I don't I and I know that he's over there. I do not want this fight right here, right? I, maybe I can win it, right? But consider how you can close that distance, right? Consider how you can close that distance. Maybe you play an off angle. Maybe maybe you go up here. If I can make the jump up. There you go. Right? Maybe I'll maybe I'll shout this way. Maybe I'll go like that. The closer you can decrease that 15 meters to 14, 13, 10, 5, right? It's better for you. Remember, SMG player mobility is your ally. So you use it to outmaneuver your opponents and engage where it's most effective. Play your role, right? You're not going to be playing this long range of, you know, you're not playing that. You might be playing this, right? You might be playing this or you might be playing up here, right? Close here. You're not, you're not playing out here like this. You're not taking fights from this long range. You know, you would rather outmaneuver. You would rather run inside, get the top plat, right? You're not going to take these fights. No, maybe, maybe you'll just get over here or maybe even run up to here and take these fights for sure. You can definitely win those, right? Anywhere is an advantage for you, you, you play that. How I play the SMG role is almost like a buffer or a filter. Now this means like I'm usually first to point and either I drop a trophy or I just try to hold it down until one of my teammates can get there and then I immediately move. I let the AR players hold the long angles while I flank, right? Where I try and I try to fight the enemies 
my goal is to take out or as keep as many enemies occupied as possible. I am the filter between my teammates on point and the enemies on spawn or in a general location, right? Even if I die, it's okay. I still give valuable information to my teammates, right? Let's say the point point is over here, P3. And I'm playing this window, right? I'm playing like this. I'm playing this window right here. And they're spawning ticket area right now. I'm being ratty. And I'm killing them off spawn. And I die right here. Let's say I die. And I, one guy kills me. And I, I see two people across. Now I can say two people coming your front. Right? The AR player, obviously he's holding a good angle, right? He might be playing close here. Watching this angle. He might be peeking as well. Or he might be back here. And he knows to anticipate two people pushing. Like, if you can keep two enemies occupied per life, you're playing the role perfectly. If you can keep two enemies occupied, not even killing them, just occupied, stun them, you know? Use your tactical, whatever you're doing, just keep them occupied. You're playing it perfectly. Now, most of you know that, like, having your knife out makes you run faster. It's great for rotating quickly, but there's a catch. You obviously don't want to get caught with your knife out in a gunfight. So generally, the rule of thumb that I like to adhere by is just, I, I if I have a knife, right, I bring it out of spawn only until I reach a point where an engagement could happen. For example, if I'm spawning P3, I'm not obviously going this way, right? That's not a good lane for me to go anyways. I know that because that's a long range of line. There's a long range, a long lane there. I, I, I do not want to challenge that, so I'm going to go top plan. And I know an engagement could happen right here, this window, or even here. So, and I'm spawning, let's say, back here, right? So I'll go, I'll check, and then I'll bring up my SMG and, you know, chow, whatever, or, you know, move wherever I need to go. So an example would be, like, if you're P2 terminal, and you're just, and you're spawning bottom S keys, right? And you only you you only have the knife out until you reach to the top of the S keys or maybe even to the the long hall, right? To the entrance of the long hall, because that's where the you know the the, the fights are going to be. They're not going to be pushing up top S key. They're not going to be pushing burger watching S key probably, right? Now let's talk about utilities. Now as an SMG player, I believe you should avoid wasting your utility on the point. I think. Your utilities are very, very crucial for you, and you just leave that for your teammate. Of course, it's just a general rule of thumb. If you need to clear a hard point or check a bomb, you know, go for it. But mainly use them to cut off rotations or obvious paths that enemies might take, right? Like for example, if I'm wa if point is here P3, right? And I know they're spawning ticket, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be a nuisance. I'm gonna come here and chuck a stun. That might stun one person. That will give me information, right? It's going to make them slower. It's going to cut off their rotation. They're going to be more worried about this, right? Rather than just this. And I can rotate to from the stun and run over here and just fucking gun them down, right? Use them to cut off rotations and obvious paths that enemies might take. Especially with the Semtex. Like, that's like... It's like a mini barrier. It can deter, like... Especially, it can deter especially like inexperienced players to completely give up that push and rotate another way, right? This gives you a huge advantage and it also gives you a huge, adva huge advantage by making them weak, right? Like if I'm over here and I stun, I don't have anything. But if I throw a sticky and it makes someone weak, like what are they going to do? They're, they're either going to run back in here, you know, hide or something like this, lay down. Or they're just going to come over here, hide like this, try to play their life. The longer you can keep them away from your point, the better it is for you. That you're playing your SMG role perfectly, right? So uh, another good one would be, like, let's say a P2 on Skid Row. Right over here, let's say I'm bottom garage and they're spawning tunnel. I stun that. I don't have anything. I stun that, right? It stuns 1-2. My guy up here can look out and chow them. They're weak. They're stunned, right? I sticky it uh, and uh, I can chow it too, right? Because I know they'll be they'll be weak. Especially this corner. I hate people who play this corner. But, you know, I can I can chow that. Whatever, right? So, keep those points in mind. Play to your advantages, you know. Get mixy. Play the corners you need to, you know. Right? Just, just do what you gotta do to engage in close quarter combats. 
and the, like I said, the, 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 the more you can decrease that 15 meters, right? This is 23 meters. I don't want to take this. Maybe I'll chow from over here, right? I'll run around top plat, or maybe I'll go through fire, whatever it may be. Take it. The more you can decrease that number, the better it is for you. And that is how you play the SMG role in my humble opinion. Perfect. I appreciate everyone who pulled through. Thank you for watching. Uh, share this video with a friend before ranked. You know, you guys jump into ranked. Make sure you guys know what role you're going to play. Good luck to everyone out there. Tomorrow I'm going to be streaming ranked. We're going to go from bronze because I'm not going to be able to play tonight. We're going to go from bronze to gold for sure. Tomorrow we're going to try to hit plat in one stream hopefully, but we'll see how that goes. Friday I am doing a UFC party watch through if anyone wants to come through Discord below. I'm going to be streaming it. We're just going to be hanging out. Vibes. Couple of drinks going just for the boys. Um, other than that, I hope everyone has a good day. Thank you for the love and support. Appreciate everything. See you guys.